What's up everyone, Eric here, Florida High Performance. Welcome back to the channel. As always, we appreciate your subscription. Like the videos, comment. I try to get back to everybody in the comment section as often as I can, so thank you. Uh, behind me is a 2023 C8 Corvette. Very nice car, very low miles, very new. Customer brought it to us uh, for some performance work recently. Uh, added a set of headers, some high flow cats, and an uh, exhaust system. Uh, as well as a hall tech intake. So car has what we would consider full bolt-ons at this point. Sounds awesome, runs great. Uh, recently, we got hooked up with DSX tuning, Dave and his crew, and now are able to offer flex tuning on the Global B platform, such as the C8, which is really cool. In the past, if we wanted to run E85 in these cars, we would have to have two different maps. We'd have to have a 93 map, and then an E85, or any mix of E85 and 93. Now, with the flex fuel capability and what we're able to do here through tuning and with flex fuel sensor and things like that, uh, we're able to actually run E85 in this car and 93, and the customer does not have to do anything as far as changing the tune file, which is awesome. So just like we have flex fuel systems on all these other builds that we do, we can now integrate it into this, into this platform, which is amazing. So what we're essentially going to do today is tell you a little bit about the system, how it works, we're gonna do some baseline testing on this car. We're gonna dial it in with Alex Pites from Pites Tuning. He's gonna get this thing dialed on 93. We're gonna get the 93 out of the tank. We're gonna switch over to E85, and then we will continue to tune this car. Hoping to see really, really awesome gains on, on E85. This is a bolt-on car, it's not boosted, so we're not expecting crazy numbers. But uh, as always, uh, when you're able to run ethanol in these cars, we can up the timing. They love it, they run really, really well, so I'm expecting uh, really good results. Um, again, we're one of the few shops in the country that offers this service. Uh, Dave at DSX was gracious enough to bring Florida High Performance into his program, and uh, we're going to roll with it. So I'm going to go ahead and start some testing on this car. I've got Alex on the, on the laptop today. Uh, he's going to help me dial this thing in. We're going to talk about our baseline results as well as our 93 and our E85 results. So sit back. I hope you enjoy the video, and we will see what this thing does here in a little bit. Thanks, guys. All right, real briefly, I just want to go over what comes. Uh, let's say you come to Florida High Performance and you say, hey, Eric, I want to do some flex tuning on my Global B vehicle, whether it be a Blackwing or a C8 or anything like that. Um, again, this is all proprietary. It's all through Dave at DSX Tuning, uh, flex fuel sensor, his harness, and a couple of lines here, depending on how we're going to route the fuel uh, fuel line through the sensor and then back to the fuel rail. Um, what's really cool about this is um, it is plug and play in a sense that uh, you know I don't have to go out of my way to really make all this stuff work. It kind of comes with everything I need. Uh, Dave is uh, very helpful uh, when it comes to solutions like that that are plug and play. Um, where we have to obviously unlock the ECU through HP Tuner, so the ECU does come out of the car, it gets sent to HP Tuners, they unlock it so then we can access it. We get the file, uh, we work with Dave on that, and uh, what we're then able to do is enable flex fuel uh, tuning and get to it. So again, there's really not much to show here, this is just the kit, this is what it comes with. If you were to come here, this is what we would provide you. Uh, we would unlock the ECU and then we would get to the flex tuning. So uh, if you have any more questions on this or how it works, anything like that, uh, I'd be happy to explain that. And uh, you can certainly contact me here at the shop uh, or via uh, you know, YouTube through this video. And I can tell you a little bit more about you know, things like cost and, and time and, and things like that. So we're gonna get to it. I will see you on the other side of the C8 Global B flex tuning. All right, guys, welcome back. 
That concludes the flex tuning on Robbie's 2023 C8 Corvette. Before we get into the final results, I just want to preface that um, obviously this is a naturally aspirated setup, right? It's a bolt-on car. It's not boosted, not supercharged or turbocharged. Would we typically run E85 on a naturally aspirated setup? Not really. We usually run 93. Um, that's sufficient for what most people are trying to do here. So keep that in mind when you're listening to the results and, and what we made. It's a naturally aspirated setup. If this car was boosted, say turbocharged or supercharged, obviously the gains are going to be a lot more. So again, this the purpose of this video is to show that we can tune these cars on flex, that we can run 93 and E85, and uh, that we do have those capabilities with the Global B platform. So keep those things in mind. Um, I'll get right into the numbers. Uh, at some point in this video, we will put up a dynograph. You will see uh, three different curves, one being the baseline, the other being 93 results with tuning, and then the E85 results with tuning. Um, car came in, already had modifications done. Long tube headers, high flow cats, AWE cat back exhaust, as well as a hall tech intake. Uh, we did a poll, fifth gear, car made 422, 415, 422 rear wheel horsepower, 415 foot pounds of torque, stock timing, about 23 degrees of timing. Uh, it's a little higher than a bone stock C8. Obviously it already had mods done to it, but that was our baseline, that's where we started. We got with Alex Pites and he got in there and we started to do some 93 tuning, added some timing, and we're able to pick up actually quite a bit of power. We made 441, 432. So 441 rear wheel horsepower, 432 foot pounds of torque. That is approximately 19 rear wheel horsepower more than our baseline and 17 foot pounds of torque. So again, just from tuning, nothing else being different, uh, we were able to pick up almost 20 rear wheel horsepower. It's pretty impressive. A couple of degrees of timing, car did really, really well. Uh, we were very pleased with the results just from the tuning. Uh, as far as E85 goes, we drained all the 93 out of the car and we put E85 in. Now this is pump E85, we got it uh, from a local station and the highest content we were able to get out of it was E76. Uh, anywhere from, I'd say E70 to about E80 is about what we get around here, so E76 was fine. We felt comfortable with that. We thought our results uh, with E76 would be sufficient, so we rolled with it. Uh, we're able to get 30 degrees of timing on E76, which is awesome, uh, it's quite a bit. And uh, final numbers were 461, 455. That's a 20 wheel increase and a 23 foot pound torque increase over the 93 tuning. Keep in mind, this car baselined at 422, 415, and it is now making 461 and 455 at the wheel. Um, again, naturally aspirated, bolt on car, drive this thing every day. And now he has the pleasure of being able to switch between 93 at E85, he could even mix it if he wanted to. He could run something like E50, although I wouldn't. I would either run one or the other, but you certainly can. Uh, this system now has a flex fuel sensor in it. We have the monitor the alcohol content and the timing will change according to that content and uh, the intake air temps. So overall, very, very pleased with the results. Again, you're gonna check that graph out. A lot of people are gonna ask what this costs. Now keep in mind, it's not cheap to tune a C8. You first have to unlock the ECU. So just unlocking the ECU in these cars, getting them out of the car, sending it out and licensing the ECU, it's about $2,000. It's $1,499 from HP Tuners plus the credits required to actually license the ECU, which is a bunch. So you've got a, quite a bit of a cost there. Uh, and then you have the actual flex fuel sensor, the installation, as well as the tuning, which is gonna run you around $2,500 here at Florida High Performance. Um, sounds crazy, I know it is. This is a different platform. This is not your grandpa's C6. This is not your uncle's C7. This is a C8, folks. And unfortunately, uh, it's gotten complicated and has gotten expensive. So um, you wanna compare the, the gains to the cost, that's fine. Uh, I would certainly love to hear from you guys in the comments to, and see what you think about you know, the type of power we picked up for the money he spent, as well as the mods. But look, at the end of the day, we made power, we made torque, it's super reliable. And he's gonna be one of the very few people down here driving around on an actual flex fuel tuned C8. Everybody else is gonna be switching maps. He does it, he can get in, he can decide what fuel he wants to run, go out there and kick some butt. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. I'm here, if you have any questions, concerns, comments, whatever it is, please comment below, I'll get back to you. If you have any questions on what you saw here, you're always welcome to call the shop. We will see you guys next time. I appreciate it very much. Look forward to it. Thanks guys.